KHQA this morning. It's your news now. Blue. Kristen <laughs> Aguirre know. is live in Quincy this morning. Yeah, Kristen is uh, featuring places off Broadway. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Yep, I am here, and we are still going on our off-Broadway tour all this week on KHQA this, this morning. We are featuring local businesses that have made it off the beaten path of Broadway Street. So we are our second stop on our Broadway tour here at Winkins Market, a staple in Quincy. And let me tell you, it is a lactose intolerance nightmare. Look at all of this cheese. Ah, I just want to dive in there, but I can't. But coming up after the break, we are going to dive into some down memory lane and learn what this market really is all about. You're watching KHQA this morning. All right, it's time to check in with Kristen DeGuerre, who uh, is in her lactose intolerance nightmare. Yes, good morning, Kristen. <laughs> good morning. Yes, I am. There's cheese everywhere, and it smells so delicious. I am here with our Off-Broadway segment and we are featuring Winking's Market this morning. And with me now is Frank Winking who is the now owner. So you guys have been around for 65 years. So how does it feel to kind of be a staple in Quincy? That's something I've always enjoyed. It's my dad opened here in 1948. So just being here for 65 years, having a business that's been around that long, is it's something to be proud of. And uh, we've always loved it and people seem to have always love coming here. So I think that's part of why we keep going is people like it. So what was it like growing up here and now taking on the business? It's, it's, it's nice. It's something that I, I've always loved and uh, bringing other family members on. I've had nieces and nephews working here. It's always been a family business so it's always kept us all close so it's, it's been really good. So um, kind of comparing from that picture to uh, everything here now, it doesn't look like much, much has changed. What is the biggest change in here right now? Uh, the biggest change is probably the beginning we was a full line grocery store and as the years have progressed the groceries the big stores took over and kind of the competition of that took us more out of the grocery line more into the snack line sandwiches and mm -hmm. food that's ready to eat so I'd say that's the biggest change. Well we are going to get an inside look to some of those sandwiches I'm going to be helping Frank make some of these classic Sammies so make sure you stay tuned for that and I hope they have cheese. <laughs> well, I hope they don't have cheese. <laughs> yeah, well, you could probably say hold the cheese, Frank, and yeah. he'd oblige, I'm yeah. sure. Pro All right. Probably. Kristen Aguirre, live, not in Brooklyn, but in Quincy this morning. Yes. Kristen, what are you up to? Good morning. Yep, I am here at Quint uh, Winking's Market, and we are talking food items now. So this place has been open for about 65 years. I'm here with owner uh, Frank Winking. And um, would you say that these items have helped you be successful in these past years? Oh yes, definitely. They're all our homemade items, which people really love. But it's not something that's batch prepared from a big place. So yeah. So what do we have here? Uh, these are our deli salads. Uh, we have a chicken salad, egg salad, tuna salad, our own ham salad, which is fairly well known, and a pimento cheese spread. All of which are made fresh and can be bought by the sandwich or by the pound. So this ham salad, actually you said, has been around f since the beginning. Yes. Yeah. And so this is a classic. Is this a favorite? Yes. It's probably our best-selling salad. Actually, it's something. So what? This is an interesting salad. What goes in here? Uh, it contains cheese. It has several different lunch meats: uh, Miracle Whip, pickle relish sugar, just anything fattening, it, you can be guaranteed it's in there. Sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah. And so, and then we have your um, your homemade kind of desserts right here. This one I said I was going to put away for later, <laughs> but we have, what are these ones that we have uh, here? This is an apple cheesecake, and this is what they call dirt pudding or an Oreo cheesecake. Uh, this is cherry cheesecake, and then we have our cold side salads, which are popular with the sandwiches. So yeah. good. And I mean, going back to your menu, you have had, kind of had the same menu since since the beginning. Yeah, it's all pretty much the same type items, the, the hard to find deli items, the hard salamis, liver loaf, mm -hmm. bologna, those things that you don't see in the big stores all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, well, we are going to continue to hang out here at this classic staple in Quincy, and we are going to learn more about their menu and even learn more about their unique candy. So all that coming up. And five cents. Five cents. She said five cents. I told you I went there for lunch mm -hmm. and it was like five bucks. Huh. Good morning. Kristen Aguirre is out and about in Quincy this morning at a Quincy Landmark. Yes, she is at Winkings Market. Good morning, Kristen.
Good morning. I hope you are getting hungry because we are now showcasing some of Winky's finest. What do we have here? Uh, this is our hot line that we just recently added in a couple years. Uh, we have a hot roast beef, a barbecue beef, and then we feature four different kinds of homemade soup that we make daily. Uh, a vegetable soup, chili, chicken noodle, and then a taco, which is very popular. Uh, the vegetable soup, as everyone says, tastes like grandma's soup, so it's <laughs> it's one of the best. You guys have some of, I, I think what's a little bit special about Winkings is that you guys, your menu is so classic that people can come here and get kind of the classic goods. Right. It's the things that, that you just can't go buy to a Hardee's or any other fast food place. It's, it's the unique items that we have, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that had something to do with you guys being so successful for the past 65 yeah, years? Yeah, I think people like to come to a place where they can get different things in different atmosphere and just kind of an out-of-the-way place that's just special. How do you feel about, I mean, you grew up here mm -hmm. and now you own it. I mean, do you have some of the same customers? Yeah, we have customers going back several generations and a lot of times, families from years back. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you, what is your relationship like with your customers? Uh, it's real personable. A lot of them were on a first name basis with them. We've yeah. known them for years, yes. Uh -huh. What's my first name, Frank? Uh, you're Kristen. There you go. <laughs> Look, now we're on a first name basis. There we go. Well, coming up later in the show, we're going to continue exploring Winkings Market and we're going to dive into some of those candies. <laughs> Kristen, a customer for life now. Here she goes. <laughs> I'll fill well, in on some successful businesses that have opened off Broadway. Yes, Kristen Aguirre is live this morning at Winkings. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. We are here at Winkins Market, and we are talking all classic foods, between the soups to the salads to even some classic candies. So, Frank, what do we have here? Uh, these are just some of the hard-to-find candies that a lot of people can't get anymore. Some of them people probably only seen on the Food Network on the Unwrapped TV show. I've seen a lot of them, but just different Big League Chew, the Bun Maple, the coconut bar known as candy bacon. No, I, some of these I have not even heard of. What is the oldest candy on this tray? Uh, the oldest is probably this Vallow milk bar. It goes way back. It was an independent company and still is to this day that makes that candy bar. Why do you guys continue to purchase these classic candies? Uh, just re customer request and just that's another thing we like offering unique items. It gives people a reason to come here to an off-the-road spot. Do you think so. it continues to add that classic touch to Winky? Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah. All right. So one of them that caught one of these chalk candies that caught my eye is this Turkish taffy, and apparently you have to crack it to open it. So now all I got to do is just crack Whack it. Whack it on the table. All right. All right. Here we go. Here's a big crack. <laughs> So now I just open it? Tear it open and you should have a lot of little pieces in there. I don't have, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's good, guys, it's good, guys. We're gonna continue to crack into some of this candy and coming up later in the show, we're gonna take a walk down memory lane and look at past pictures of some great moments here at Winkings Market. It's good. I want to know if the instruction says crack or bludgeon. Yeah, she's like, whap, whap, whap. <laughs> Don't make Kristen mad. That's what we've learned today. With Kristen Aguirre, who's out and about in Quincy this morning. Yeah, she's live at Winkings Market. What's going on, Kristen? Good morning. Yep, we are continuing our off-Broadway tour for businesses that have gotten past the beaten path of Broadway and have survived off of it. And now we're at Winkings Market, and we've been looking at their menu and all their classic stuff here. But now we're taking a little bit of a walk down memory lane. So you guys have been here for 65 years. And what is your favorite memory here? Uh, I would say it was probably my dad's 50th anniversary here. There was We had a big sign outside, kind of a surprise. And a lot of people popped in that he hadn't seen in years and sent plants and cards. and it, it was just special to see him so proud of that. I think that's my best moment here. And you yeah. said your father worked here until the day he passed, basically. Y yes, he did. He was 85 years old, and he worked every day that he could. He loved it. And so what are some of the pictures? We have your father here. Uh -huh. um, what are some of these, of these other pictures that we have? Uh, these are just some uh, customers in the store from years back in the 50s, and this has always been a favorite uh, one kids all peering into the candy case. And I feel like I was just looking like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this guy who used to bring in homemade pies daily and they only sold for a dime if anyone can believe that. But that is uh, unbelievable. Yeah, a dime. A dime, yes, for a whole pie. And so what have what is the biggest change you've seen since you know you've been here since you grew up here to now you have taken over? 
Yeah, I would say it's just in the, the different type of business that we do as far as what we sell. Uh, we've It's just changed from being full-line grocery and meats to just foods that are ready to eat. I think that's what people want these days. So I would say that's the biggest change is our product line. Mm, do yeah. you think Winkings is going to be around for another 65 years? Uh, I certainly hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to continue here going down memory lane at Winkings. And don't forget, you can always check out connecttristates.com for some more details on the store. Sounds fun. Yeah. We're going to check in one final time with Kristen Aguirre. Mm -hmm. She's making something this morning. What are you making, Kristen? Good morning. Yep, they are putting me to work here at Winkings Market. We've been hanging out here all morning. With me now is um, Lindsay Schmidt. And what, what are we going to be making here, Lindsay? We're going to be making some of my special sandwiches. These are all my favorites. We have turkey pastrami, smoked turkey, roast beef, and ham. And then our special cheeses here, we have a horseradish, a bacon cheddar, hot pepper, and then a pepper marble jack, a dill Havarti, a smoked uh, Swiss, and then a French onion dip, garden onion cheese. This is mean, Lindsay. Listen, <laughs> I told you I can't eat cheese. That's rude. Mm -hmm. I'm, my mouth is watering. Um, so we're going to start making these sandwiches. Um, so, Lindsay, you are actually, oh, here, you can take the knife. Maybe, Maybe I'll, take, I'll take this one for safety precautions. <laughs> so, Lindsay, you are actually um, part of the family. Yes. You are uh, Frank's niece, and you are actually up in line next for Winkings yes. Market, yes? Yes, I am. And you were telling me in the break that you, you're excited for it. You want to take over. I do. It gives me uh, something to look forward to, something to want to honor and keep going. And so you've grown up here. So what has it been like to kind of grow up here and see this, this family business? Um, just really gives me a good sense of uh, how to do things as far as what's right from what's wrong. Them and just becoming one big family. So if people want to come here and take some one of your specialty sandwiches, what are they, when do they need to step by? Uh, where do you guys open? Oh, uh, we are open <laughs> Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. till 9, or 6 p.m. And then Saturday, 9.30 a.m. till 3 p.m. <laughs> All right. Well, you can always check out those times on our website at connecttristates.com. I'm going to continue making up this Sammy, and I'm making it for cameraman Mark because he's such a good work partner. Send it back to you guys at the studio. So basically lunchtime. You should be safe. Yeah, that would be a great to time to lunch. check out Winkings. Yes.